Last but not least. Good afternoon, everyone. It is wonderful to be here. Um, I'm Dr. Noha Balada. I'm a family physician and the founding CEO of Roots Community Health Center. We're based in Oakland. And we were actually founded uh, to address longstanding disparities in East Oakland, specifically for African-American community. So in a lot of ways, we were you know, ready for that moment where we had to really spring into action. And I think the ways in which we um, advanced COVID equity was first when other folks were closing their doors and shutting down, we were opening our doors wider and making sure that the community knew they had an anchor um, that they could come to and rely upon. So we uh, opened the first walk-up uh, COVID testing site in April of 2020. It's so hard to believe. Um, we've performed more than 45,000 uh, COVID tests. Um, we we got vaccines as quickly as we could get our hands on them um, and have administered over 20,000 um, COVID vaccines, 80% um, to our African-American and Latino communities. Um, so really have made an effort to ensure that those resources went to our community. Um, and we also began um, a platform for really communicating directly with our community. Um, we have what we call the People's Health Briefing. It's still broadcast every Tuesday morning at 10 a.m., where we're really talking in plain language directly to our community to help sort through. Um, first, it was too much information, conflicting information, and disinformation and misinformation. And that has turned out to be an important um, platform where we can expand the relationship, not just to our immediate community and the patients who might come through our doors, but to the broader community and continue that relationship because we understand that that is why we're an anchor and how we're an anchor and how we were able to uh, really maintain the trust and ensure that we had high uptake of testing and of vaccines and now of treatment pathways as well. Well, I want to build up such to... robust work in the COVID equity space. How's it dovetailing with your broader work? Sure. Well, you know, we've never had the luxury of just being able to focus on one thing. So when COVID hit, it was just on top of a multitude of other issues that we've been addressing and addressing um, really with that equity lens and that and that framework. Um, so I would say that um, it's hard to say where one thing really ends and the other begins. Um, but a big part of our work is has been around the recognition that we can't program and service our way out of the disparities that exist. It really does take advocacy. It takes partnership. And in COVID, uh, you know, we were never shy. But in COVID, there was an urgency um, that really, I think, propelled us to partner um, and challenge and sometimes push our leaders um, in healthcare and in government. Um, to really say equity cannot be an afterthought. It has to be from the beginning because we're already anticipating disparities from day one because we know that this crisis is layered on top of other um, challenges that we face. And so really I think being able to push and say, we have an opportunity to get out ahead of this and to get out ahead of any disparities forming um, and that that is really an absolute imperative because we sort of saw that train coming. And so I think the advocacy and the partnering um, with government felt different um, in this crisis and that is something that we were really hopeful can continue.